What's what what the f are you, you weird freaky A bag? Hello there, great person, and welcome back to the Lesser Water Take on Time. Today we're watching the OVAA skipped me Carter's backstory thing. Uh Lost Girls Part 3. So let's just jump into it. I uh, can't wait to watch some new Attack on Titan content after the whole show is done now. And um, yeah, I also can't wait for the live discussions we'll have when uh, the YouTube channel is caught up. So uh, look out for that as well. And uh, yeah, also new anime. It has been polling uh, currently. Uh, so if you see this on YouTube, the new anime has already started on Patreon, but don't know what it is yet. We'll soon find out. Anyway. Hope you have a great day. Let's watch some Attack on Titan and have some fun. Also, it's very hot here, so I will not put on the whole suit because I'm not mad. Like, I am mad, but not like that. You know what I mean. So anyway, don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment on what you thought. and Let's see what this is about and why I was not supposed to see it. So let's have some fun. Doch ich frag, ich frag mich, wer wir sind. So we start with the Titan ramp. That's always lovely. And the lifts. We were talked about. Ooh, young. Oh, that's so interesting. The young people. Yeah, those days. Yeah, he did not have the memories here yet, right? So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I wonder what he will do. Ooh, there's the butterfly. Love the blue. There's not a lot of blue in this anime. Only Emir Sky has the paths, I think, have these color parts. Hmm, there it is. Oh. Oh, are we going to see the terrible thing that happened to her again? Yep. Oh, yeah, I forgot. It was the one that got eaten by the mantis. Telling her about the cruelty of the world. Oh, yeah, the embroidery. That is a tattoo. Yeah. <laughs> That's so interesting. I love the art style here. I think I, I might prefer it to season four. Okay, so we will get the backstabbing or front stabbing. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. The moment we saw that Eren uh, is a slave to hatred. I mean, not this one, but the one that's, that causes it. Yeah. There it was. <laughs> yeah, imagine if Charles Darwin had eaten Ehren. <laughs> we would have had Charles Darwin found her. Yeah, right, this is where we got the flashback as well, if I recall correctly in season one. Flashback to her. Oh, why is the butterfly there now? That is so weird. Wait a moment, wait a moment. I remember that. I remember the butterfly was not on that scene because I was confused why that fruit was shown. So it was shown as a tease for this? That's weird. Yeah, it is Emir, I think. Is it? No, I don't. I do think it's Mikasa's voice. I do think it's Emir because it's Emir's colors, the blue, like the star blue. Interesting. Yeah, I do think. Wait, it might confirm that it was Emir that sent her the bizarre world. It might do that. I do know it's... I don't think it's Emir's voice actress because obviously Emir... Did she ever talk? Because she... I, I think they ripped out her tongue. It wasn't said in the anime, but someone said it in the comments. So this is Emir speaking through her, I think. Which, like, if this is Emir, and if this is currently... And I know it might not be... 
But um, if this is really what Emil showed to Mikasa before she cut off his head, that would like that would make so much sense here because it's these moments where Emir inserts herself because it wasn't this blue butterfly like the colors are Emir like this like this is basically the this the 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 band of stars we see uh, here you see it in my mouse I think the band of stars we see in the ways and also the branches of the extra seal thing uh, the puffs and uh, yeah the glowing eyes of course as well. It's like in the blue because the blue is so characteristic i do think the blue has almost never been used this 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 bright blue it's always like this like the background image here you see like this is the color palette we had i feel but i'm not good at that like but yeah that's true yeah because Eren is what oh wow she changed that oh that's not good because Eren is, yeah, I do think still. So she can't change Eren's death because Eren is a slave to his hate. Uh. What will happen here? Oh, she's gonna die here. I do think, oh, she's gonna, yeah, I do think this, they will, oh, what? Interesting. Why did uh, changing that the mantis ate the thing? Or oh, perhaps this is the change she wanted. I don't know. Ooh, alternative meeting Eren. What's it gonna say? <laughs> Mate. It's gonna be your mate. <laughs> Are these opening credits or something lost in the cruel world i love that as well because the butterfly is obviously the beauty so every time there's beauty ah oh man i already think so much i might be wrong of course but the beauty is also email showing her the little beauties perhaps a bit I wonder if Emir saw a little beauty. I know she loved her daughters, but it was that was so weird. I still am a bit confused, not confused. Like I'm a bit sad, like like for the people in the show that Emir couldn't love her children more than her husband, because she exactly the th same thing as a, a, a Mikasa is doing a bit. Like Mikasa can't love her friends more than Eren. Like obviously in her case, that's a bit more. Um, understandable because the constellations between the people are different like obviously they're not related but you know what I mean it's so interesting I wonder if Emir had something else because Emir also saw the flowers oh wow new Mikasa child what oh can our commands feel that hmm yeah. I am still unsure. Like, I do think that came from Armin. Like, we know that it's... Yeah, we, that came from Armin. So he had already took Armin's dream here. Will he pervert it here as well as he did in the main story? I mean, he did do that. As an all good shonen, he did that. <laughs> I also, something I just realized is he's a lot, he feels a bit happier here. Ooh, this might give me the answer if it's his hatred or not. Hmm. Yeah, because of what will you do if you are not going for Eren? Oh, what was that? Are those titans or, or are those the assholes? Uh, oh. Why though? Ripple effect? Why? Why are they dead now? Because of the mantas? Oh, that's not good. 
I wonder if this would change. I mean, obviously, Eren's going to save her here, you know, but... Or perhaps they get mauled. But because he's now not killing people here, and he's not hating them, <laughs> these dogs are more um, like titans than, the, than humans uh, were like titans. If that makes sense. Like, like before... Um, I would say ending these animals and the titans is similar in a way. Perhaps like titans are even less cognitively proficient, I think. Some, like excluding uh, normals. But um, humans are of course not, so it's different. What did she do here? Oh, she used an Ackerman thing? Or is she deciding stuff? That would be interesting. Yeah, the butterfly is there. The butterfly. Yeah, I know. Cruelty and beauty, I know. But it's so interesting. Why did you keep the dogs a secret? <laughs> That's cool. Ooh. I do think he still see he has the look. I do think he had the look there, so <laughs> Did she know Armin um, uh... Yeah, that's so true. A <laughs> little picnic, oh, that's so cute. <laughs> Did she know our baby so made? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, of course. That's exactly how it happens. <laughs> no, no, it's it's carrying them in like a little um, linen cloth. You know, that's what they say in Germany, at least. That, that's the that's the meme. Um, the uh, what's it called? Stork? I don't know. Sorry, but it was out of focus. <laughs> Ooh, it's also the email soundtrack, I think, but I might be wrong. Nah. Is it your dream, though? I love that, it's so cool. Something's gonna happen here. What? Something. Oh, he got into an argument? An argument? Oh, he, see, he now regurgitates uh, Armin's uh, uh, sayings. <laughs> it is so sad, though. Like, if you think about it, this version of Eren here has latched onto Armin's dream as well. Uh, and he wants it so badly to be his dream, but it isn't in the end. It's so tragic. Because he knows it's a better dream than whatever the fuck he was doing. Like, he knows that. He says that in the end. I'm an idiot. I love that. But sometimes you can't push away your, your devil inside. Sometimes, you know. Oh, yeah, right. Uh, is it still Uri's turn here? No, Frida is still, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Like it is bubbling through. It is so good. Man, I love it. It's well done. Still the same hateful asshole. Like, not an asshole here, of course. Like, but in the end. <laughs> That's so awesome. Like, I, d I don't know if Eren's my favorite character, actually, currently. Because he's so well done. It's so awesome. I love Eren. Like, I really, like, I I do think he's... I still think it, it's hard. I don't know uh, how I would e uh, rank Eren or Gabi in currently. I do think Gabi is more... Um understandably written in that you see most of the stuff and get to know exactly why she reacts the way she uh, does and what changes her and stuff like you see that 
with Egan, a lot of stuff is still a mystery or um, up to interpretation, actually, I think. We don't know a lot about what he really wants. I do think the only time he really opened up to anyone is the Armin speech he does in the um, in the paths in the end. That is the only time where we see the real Eren matured in the end of the series. You know, so I really don't know, but I love that because it doesn't need to be said all of it. I, I like the ambiguity with Eren. It's awesome. Though I still think... Uh, and there are certain hints that I think are more likely, so that's why I go with them. Yeah, again, you can't stop his drive. Again, it's the same thing. It is just different. They are not in the skulls right now. I guess the Titans are going to come in a moment. But, um, like, he still has not, does not have her as a priority here. Like, obviously not. And he also didn't have it in the real, real world. He didn't. And she's starting the same stuff again. It's, again, toxic already in the way that he's not seeing her. And, um, like, it's toxic for her. He's not being really toxic to her. But, like, she... You know what I mean? It's very interesting. I actually get I watched this at the end. Watch, if I would have watched it before, I wouldn't have gotten all these... New, uh, perhaps not nuances, but... Yeah. No, oh, she's visiting Eren. Yeah, I do think this is the battle scene. Hello. The scouts are back! The scouts are back! So now we're at episode one, so the Titans should take next day. Or the, this day. Yeah. Are we gonna get Keith? Can give me some Keith here. No Keith? No. Ah, uh, Keith! Oh no, I, I missed it. I missed it. I, I will, I will, I will. There he is, my guy. Man, Keith was so fucking awesome. And I do think this is Erwin. I do think this is Erwin. This is, might be Misha, but I'm not sure. No, this, no, this is not Misha. This is, I think this might be Misha. This is Erwin. This is obviously Keith. Very interesting stuff. Man, I would have so loved Keith to go out alone on that ship. Would have been so heroic. It, Margaret being there robbed me of the Keith death and the emotions, I have to say. And I'm sad about that because Keith was so awesome. But I guess without witness, without reward. Oh, one of the lights just died. Brilliant. Yeah, I do think to the right is Misha, perhaps. I don't know. That was such an awesome introduction, Caesar. I can't wait to rewatch season one with you. That will be so awesome. Also, Mikasa's his cruelty here. Again, like with the wolves. But she still has the Ackerman stuff, so she can still be of help, but. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the guy he hits with a stick. <laughs> Oh. So interesting. This as well. I love that. Like now watch, I can't wait to watch these scenes again in like real episodes in season one. But the thing is, he's already doing like hitting people, just randomly hitting people. Not randomly, like, you know what I mean? Like, like it's a real outburst he has because they're spitting on his heroes. Can't do that. Can't, can't spit on his ideals. He gets violent, um, which actually I do think in normal, sh not, not normal, it's a, like, how do I phrase it? It's not normal. That's, that's very shallow to say. In, in more usual shonen, the thing is, if you're like this, then it gets very heroic. It's very, as far as I understand, I haven't watched many, as far as I understand, I feel like it is always depicted as pretty heroic. You know what, what, like hitting people you think are wrong and stuff a bit like, like not that bad. Like this is, you know, but I don't know. Oh, he's just carrying him away. Oh, that didn't happen last time. Holy shit, man, yeah. Yeah, I mean, no. Oh, is that, wait, is that Flegel? Is that, that's not Flegel, right? Whatever. Oh, will she, will she save him here? No, she didn't. 
Hmm. Oh, the doll is so cute. Only Erin could have stayed a scout, man. Very boat, yeah. A boat which interconnects the territories of humanity, moving via steel wires that's suspended above the river, carries passengers, goods, military supplies, and so forth. Yes, I know my British accent is shit. I don't even know if that was <laughs> anywhere close. When Chigantino was attacked in 1845, many of its residents evacuated to Troas to board the ferry. Which attack? <laughs> Its maximum load is 150 tons and is powered by the same compressed gas as ODM gear. 150 tons? Interesting. It's not... Yeah, I don't know if that is much or not. It does not sound like much, but a ton is pretty much. Yeah, now the Titans should come. Did he go? Why is Grisha there? It's not coming anymore. Why? Oh. Oh, so she can see Eren again. Yeah. This is so interesting. What about? At least she wasn't horribly murdered, but she might die in childbirth here. Yeah. Don't know though. Yeah, why did Eren stop coming? The scouts are no more, huh? What? Why? Where is Bertolt? Where is Bertolt? Ah, that's awesome. Yeah, he knows from his parents. Yeah. Armin does know from his parents. I really wonder why Battle doesn't attack here. What would have changed as well? Does something change with Marcel and people? I don't think it will. There is no connection, really. Their mission? No. I do think, of course, that the Mantis is, um, yeah, the Mantis is not all. Like, I do think Ymir controls several animals because the wolves are also animals. And I do th still think Ymir is Gaia, primarily as uh, she is, of course, plants, but her powers are very, like, animalistic in that the spine and the very basic motor systems are addressed. <laughs> Yeah, but what about Male? They're gonna attack you. Ooh, what's he gonna say here, though? Girls. Oh, and he wraps the sharp scarf, the sharp scarf around her here. I like that, though. Ooh, and he blushes a bit. Did he do that when he did it with the... That's so interesting. That's so interesting. So he blushes here. I have... Man, I can't wait for the rewatch. I need to see if he blushed there as well. But I don't remember. It didn't seem important. But it is very important. Because this Eren hasn't tasted the hate yet. Just the anger. Very interesting. This is awesome, man. I love this. And I'm, again, so glad. Oh, so the wall church uh, lost. Where's Berthold? Uh, are there, uh, is she gonna see... Uh, is she gonna see some very bad stuff? Oh, who's that? Uh, who the fuck are you? What an asshole. Do we know that dude? Is it someone we know? What the fuck are you doing? Why? What's she... What is happening? It's so random and weird. That's a very diplomatic answer to that creepy question. 
What, what, what the fuck are you, you weird freaky a bag? What? That's so random. What? No, you couldn't. Hmm, with me, Kasa. No, she's not unhinged. Like, her, her limit is not broken, so to speak. Using one punch, man. Uh, terminology. So, I don't think so, mate. Cannot make people do something they wouldn't do, but would me, Kasa? I don't know. Is this... what is that thing? Is that a representation of Emir? Oh, what the fuck? I... Yeah, this is some weird subconscious thing. Sounds a bit like Willy. Ooh, what the frick? Yeah, I mean, she's about to slice Eren's head off here. Like, in real world, I guess if it's like... At least that's my head canon where it happens. It might not be true, might like, of course not. It's just a cool take on it, so I have more fun with it. So, you know, it's awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, the determination. The determination. Yeah, I do think she changed a little stuff, not just one thing. <gasps> Who did so? So it is also. Um, it might be her uh, her animus. Like it might be her animus talking to her. So animus is like the the there is a an idea in psychology, and it's like not a very. I, I'm I'm I don't know if it's empirically proven. At all. Like, I do think it's just an interesting description. So, like, if you're like male, you have a female thing in your mind that is called anima, I think. And like, if you're like female, it's like an animus. So, you know, it is like the, the thing that pulls at you sometimes, I, I think, paraphrasing. Uh, you, you can read it up in Carl Jung's work uh, more. Um, and this seems to be her animus, at least the man for me. So it, it is uh, uh, perhaps even the part of war, the Ackermann part, might be as well because her father was the Ackermann, right? Yeah, I do think his father was her, her father was the Ackermann. So this might be her Ackermann blood inside, and also mixed within the truth she is, uh, and she knows like it's she knows the truth already that she has to kill him as well. Um, it's interesting. So she kind of, kind of has to, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's just the same pose as, uh, it's the same pose as with the uh, bandits. And now the Ackerman stuff is going to come. Yeah. Yeah, there's battles. Yeah, because I stepped him. Yep. Or herself. Yeah, I do think there's like it's obviously I think her subconsciousness, both her animus and uh, like her real self ingrained and intertwined with that. So that's pretty cool. No, no, like that's not what Isayama was probably going for. Like, don't get me wrong, but that's how I see it. Yeah, interesting. <laughs> But what was the symbolism? Why step her? Perhaps to see, accept herself again, the Ackermann part inside her. Is this also symbolization of her having to, like, step Eren in the end? Are they already gone now? Oh, what has happened to Armin? Oh, Armin, what did you freak up this time? Ah, uh, Eren saved him again like he did from the Charles Darwin Titan. Yeah. 
And there was the little beauty in the cruelty. Uh, I love that. Yeah, that was Emir. That was Emir testing her already. Perhaps this is the point where Emir got, uh, like, from Emir's time perspective. This is, I think, the point where Emir understood, okay, this is the one I need. This is the one I need. Yeah, I do think so. That is so interesting. That is also why they showed the fucking fruit. I can't believe the fucking fruit came up again. <laughs> it's so stupid. I love it so much. Like, it's not stupid. It's fucking clever. It's really, really clever. Really, really well done. Oh, I love it. So the fruit came back. Man, I'm going to miss Sayami, Sayama greatness so much. Or animation team greatness. So the fruit was just, wasn't like, it wasn't just a fruit. Everyone told me it was just a fruit. Thanks for not spoiling it, but it was Emir. That was the Emir test. I do think Emir. So perhaps uh, when um, I don't know if with all headaches uh, she got something like this, but no I, no, I don't think so. But this definitely was Emir thing, like at least feeling the waters, um, because I do think this really long dream thing is Emir showing people stuff. Like it's nothing real. Like the the long dream is like an like like a path projection or something, um, because there are also sometimes these flashes like in dreams. Like it's not the whole time. Some people have also commented. I think that the four years she had with with grown up Erin were real four years. I do disagree. I disagree. This long dream is just uh, uh, like a symbol for uh, uh, like going into the paths in a way or interacting with the paths. I do think, yeah, like this, this, uh, I had a long dream is some interactions with the past just took place. Like in episode one, we had, of course, the interactions with the path that young Eren had. Um, um, and uh, we then did have uh, the interactions with the path that uh, Mikasa had in the dream, where she woke up and she was in the paths, obviously. Um, and here again, love the year long dream. But then you wake up sometimes. So she did mega summit at Oki. What does she? No. Oh, I, I remember this. I cheered so much. But I just. Another possibility here would also be Ima giving her comfort in this scene. That did Ima do that to everyone? I know this is never like this is out of the box, never really implied. Never. It's just something I thought wouldn't that be really cool? Because I do also think there's nothing that contradicts it. Um. So, yeah, because the because Eren can't uh, erase uh, Mikasa's memories, but Emir might be able to um, uh, make them appear as a dream, or she might even remember that here. We just didn't see it in this episode here. That might be the, as well. Like she remembers the the alternate world here as well in flashes. Um. That is interesting. Perhaps this is also where the headache started, but I don't think so. So, but yeah, but it also might be that Emir does this to all the people when they are about to die. Perhaps she shows them for the last seconds before their death something of comfort before the reality takes them in, in the dream as well because Emir can't start it off forever. Man, that would be nice. That would just be nice. With everyone having a last good dream before they die. That is now headcanon for me. I know it's completely, completely random what I just said. But I just think that would be cool. I think that's so cool. Little beauty in the end. Because then it also would mean that every cruel death we had seen had beauty. As everyone had a beautiful long dream. 
because Emir knew uh, 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 Emi would probably know when people were about to die as well, like because it's her children. And then we, she would have cared for them, which is a criticism, uh, not the criticism of the writing or anything, but like I would say to Emi, like, care a bit more for your children. Um, obviously, I mean, take it with a grain of salt because obviously we, she was completely mentally done because of her toxic abuse by King Fritz. But, you know, um, so it might indeed have been that she wanted to comfort her here, but she as uh, perhaps uh, perhaps because she stabbed the other Mikasa, she Emil Summer also thought, ah, this is the one I need. Perhaps. I don't know why exactly. If, if you think so, if you have an idea, put it in the comments. If you say, oh, if this is rubbish. I mean, that happens, but it's so awesome. I love the Ehren uh, punching the stupid Titan. Yes, but yeah, but what then? Oh, yes. This as well, why would he not stop moving forward? Moving forward is a symbol for me here and again interpretation on my part. But the way she says this, we'll retake War Maria. Like we'll go out, go out, like waltzing down everything in his, in his path rumbling down everything in his path um but it will continue like this like it does have a because it's about titans retaking Val valmaria it is obviously a more positive connotation but the thing like the more abstract version is he's going out like like leveling stuff like towards Val Maria level stuff then he sees the ocean what's he gonna do now because that's his thing yeah yeah, but you were in the end, and that's good. I also hope that uh, Emu sees this. <laughs> that was awesome. That was really awesome. I absolutely love that. That made my day. <laughs> I'm so sad I have no more. I do think there were two little OVAs. I'm not sure I would react to them on camera. I will probably watch them on my own um, because they're not that apparently plot relevant and stuff. So I will just enjoy some, some time with some characters again. And yeah, prepare, be prepared for the live stream soon and uh, new anime and all the stuff. Don't forget to like and subscribe, of course. And uh, thanks for being as always. And more Attack on Titan content coming. I mean, I, I, this made me realize I can't wait for the rewatch. Can't wait. We will do live stream parties. We watch parties on YouTube. I, man, I can't wait. It's gonna be awesome. See you around. Bye. Also, if you want to support my horror content, check out volume one of my horror series called Remnants of the Old Truth, which is available for free as an audiobook on Videth 22s horror channel. Link is pinned in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and take care.